Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making this cute little ghost. He is made with a number four yarn, 10 millimeter eyes, and a 4.25 millimeter hook. And then I've also tested him in the number six um, blanket yarn. He turns out super cute. And on this one, I used 14 millimeter eyes and a 5.5 millimeter hook. And you can follow along with the same pattern. I will be doing the, the little one in the number four in the video. And you'll just follow along no matter what yarn you've decided to use. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along. And don't forget, if you enjoy my video, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. You can also leave a like, a comment, or share the video with your friends. Uh, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Now you can begin any way you want um, with the magic ring, chaining two, um, whatever you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And what I like to do is make a knot with a loop on the end as if you're going to chain and I just kind of keep it the size that I think I'm going to need for the amount of single crochets I'm putting in. And for the ghost today, it's going to be eight single crochets. So I am just going to insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull up and through, oops, and chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop before we get started. And for row one, we're going to do eight single crochets into the loop. And we're going over our tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then pull your tail to close that hole. Okay. Okay, and grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, you're going to do eight increases all the way around. So that's two single crochets in every stitch for a total of 16. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten, increase eleven and twelve, increase thirteen and fourteen, and our last increase. 15 and 16. Row three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So single crochet for one increase, two and three. 
and then just repeat that around. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, 14 and 15, oops, 16, an increase, 17 and 18, 19, increase, 20 and 21, 22, and your last increase, 23 and 24. Rows 4 to 7 is just going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively in two sets of 48. So rows 4 to 6, I'm going to do 48 and then flip my marker when I hit my first set of 24. And then when I do 6 and 7, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Go back down to 0 and count to 48. And that'll give me my four rows of 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, whoopsie, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that was one of our four rows. I'm going to flip my marker and keep on counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, so that's two of our four rows. And now I'm going to start at zero again and count to 48 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23, 24. So that's our third row of four. And we've got one more, and I'm going to keep on counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, whoops, 1, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that is our um, four rows of 24, rows 4 to 7. Uh, row 8, we're going to do the little bumps on his arms. And I will put that across the top as I'm doing it um, instead of just at the beginning to help you out. Okay, so we're going to start with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to do a stitch that I call um, the double crochet cluster. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's a cluster, a puff, a bobble. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet, but not finish it, and then keep going in the same stitch. So in this next stitch, you're going to go yarn over, down into that next stitch, grab your yarn, come up and through, and then you're going to pull through the first two loops on the hook, and you're not going to go through the last one. So grab your yarn, pull through, and keep that last loop on the hook. And you're going to do that four times. So that was one. Yarn over in that same stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up and through, and then you're going to go through the first two loops. So that's two of them. You're going to yarn over again, go in that same stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up and through. Again, you're going to go through the first two loops on your hook. And that's three times, and you're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, down in that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, and you're going to go through the first two loops again. And you should end up right now with one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Now you're going to grab your yarn, and you're going to go through all five of those loops. And there's your little cluster stitch. And then you're going to start again in the next stitch just from that. So we are going to do 10 single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to do this little cluster stitch of four double crochets again in this next stitch. And I'm going to go a little faster this time, so if you can't get it here, just go back and practice this one a couple of times. So yarn over in the next stitch, grab your yarn, go through the first two loops. Yarn over in the same stitch, go through the first two loops. Yarn over in the same stitch, go through the first two loops. And then yarn over, same stitch, first two loops. And then you'll have five. And there's your little cluster. All right, and now we should have six more stitches on this side. Single crochets. One. Two, three, 
four, five, and six. And there you've got his two little arms on each side. Now for row nine, we are gonna do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And be very careful when you go around under the arms that you get in the right stitches. Okay, so one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, Fourteen and a decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. And row ten is just going to be eighteen single crochets all the way around. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then we're just going to take a little pause on that and we're going to start putting the face on. All right, grab your eyes, and we are going to go um, between rows six and seven. So starting at your starting loop, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So just below row six. Just going to mark our, I'll mark that with my finger, I guess. And then we're going to go over three holes from the top of the arm. So the top of the arm is one, or top of the arm, and then one, two, three. Same thing on the other side, and I'm just gonna follow that line around. Find that top stitch just above the arm. One, two, three. And there should be about four holes in between. One, two, three, and there's a fourth one just under there. Um, if you're happy with where the eyes are there, then you're just going to put the backs on. Then I'm just going to grab a scrap of pink for the cheeks. Thread that on your needle. And I'm putting my um, cheeks just under the eye. So I'm going to start in this hole and this hole. And then I'll be in this hole and this hole. So come up through the bottom, just under the eye. Assuming your stitches line up like mine, leave a little bit of a tail for tying. And then just go over into the next hole. And then back around that stitch. So I'm going to be doing it twice. So one, 
and then when we go back in that'll be two and then I'm going to go over to the other side but I'm going to go opposite so this is where I want to end my stitch so I'm going to go one stitch over and start my outside of my cheek there and then go under the eye And then do that one more time from the outside to the inside. And leave that a little bit slack if you can. I'm gonna get that first one a little looser. And then you're just gonna tie that in the back. Go loose and then slowly tighten the more knots you make until you're happy with it. Then you're going to cut that. Then we'll grab some black. And I made this ghost mouth a little on the smaller side, so I'm going to be going. Oops, sorry. Um, one row down and then over. So I'm cheek down over, cheek down over. And this one is different than my other one. I only had one stitch. I'm gonna come back in that hole. Keep in mind where your other um, one is gonna be over here. You go down in the center between those two. Oops. I should fix my yarn up before I do this. And then you're going to go back down in the same spot. There's your little V. Then you're just going to tie that just like you did the cheek. Two or three times, a little tighter each time, and then give it a clip. And then now we're ready to continue on. Um, maybe put a little bit of stuffing in there. What are we doing next? We're going to 15. Um, I'll put that in after. Okay. You want to be careful not to get it too closed so you can't put your stuffing in because when we do the tail, we're going to kind of shape it as we go with the stuffing little by little. Okay, so for row 11, we're going to do four single crochets and one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for 15. One, two, three, four, and then a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15. And you're just going to add your stuffing as you go. Make sure you're not overstuffing it so you can't get your stitches in nice. That's probably more than enough in there. Row 12, we're going to do three single crochets and one decrease, and that'll be a total of 12. 
one, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Okay, row 13, we're going to start off with three single crochets. One, two, three. Then we're going to do two decreases. One, two, and then we should have five single crochets left on the other side. One, oops, two, three, four, and five. That's going to be kind of tiny and piddly, so take your time if you need to. I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing in there, not much, just to slowly keep up with where we're at. And I can't, which way is it curving? It's going to be curving this way, so as you stuff, kind of put your stuffing over to this side. So that this side can go over more and this side can kind of stay a little fuller. Okay, row 14. We're going to do three single crochets at the start here. Make sure you're getting in the right stitch. And pull those stitches if you need to. One. Two, three, and then we're going to do two decreases again on this side. One, two, and then we should have three single crochets left. One, two, and three. And we only have one row left, so get your stuffing in now. But be very careful not to stretch the shaping you're doing with those decreases on this side. Grab my scissors here. You can stuff it in a little bit extra and then try and pull it out, but okay, so row 15, we're going to do an increase. So make sure you're in the right stitch. So you're going to do an increase one and two in the same stitch. And then you're gonna do three decreases. One, two, and three. And in this last stitch, you are going to do a increase. So this is kind of making the point of your 
um, little tail and then slip stitch in the next stitch. Geez, I guess I could have tried to make that a little easier. But I made this guy about, I don't know, 10 times before I got this curve that I liked. Cut it, give yourself a little extra in case you have to fix up anything um, as you're going around. You're just going to kind of shape him a bit. Um, I have to put a little bit more stuffing in that end. And I'm just going to put a little bit at a time. I don't know if this will help me. Oh, it is. Kind of push to the one side where you want it fuller and no point. No, that's not going to work. And be very careful not to stretch your stitches. Um, my yarn is really thin for a number four, so I'm hoping if you guys have a nicer yarn, you're not going to get the holes that I'm getting here. I think that's enough. And then grab your needle, and we will close that up. So again, you're just going to go in and out of your last row of stitches. Whoopsie. I was trying to look in both what I was doing and the camera to the side and it was not working. Okay. So there you got your little point. If you want to, you can kind of sew around. Um, I got a little bit overstuffed there, so I might have to come in later and and sew those up. But for right now, for this tutorial, I am just going to tie it off. And then I went in kind of along this side to go up there. So I leave that point there instead of pulling it up. Um, you can tie it anywhere you want if it doesn't seem to work for you. So you don't want to pull that like that. There we go. And we're done. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget if you enjoy my tutorials to hit the subscribe button and you will be notified anytime I make new tutorials. And remember anytime you see anything in the background, I always have a video of that that I've done previously. And as always, take care. Be safe and happy crocheting.